John the camera guy. <laughs> We're good. We are not at the Whiskey Heat is World Headquarters. Uh-uh. Nope. And we got a, uh, I don't know what to call him, the gatekeeper of unicorn purgatory with us today. Joe Christ. <laughs> And uh, without a doubt, he's, uh, as you see, poured some unicorns. And there's more unicorns poured over there. And there's more unicorns poured over there. But we're just going to talk about this one. And hopefully Joe can tell us just a little bit. We'll talk about uh, uh, some flavors or yeah. something. Some nosins. Nosins and tastings. tastings and some history lessons. shenanigans, maybe. So let's start off, Joe, with anything that you can tell us about this. What is it? going on here uh just Cat. got it 40 year anniversary of king car king car celebrating uh the, well they're the makers of cavalan so do we yeah, like cavalan yeah. we love cat we love oh, cavalan. yeah we do <laughs> joe says he loves cavalan you probably can't tell by the uh dozens of cavalans scattered throughout this place <laughs> but uh we're actually very excited that's oh. the ambulance they left, they're not coming, coming for us, us carry on. Uh, but we're actually super excited. What's the ABV? Oh, Tell us. We learned 50 something. 50 something. 56.3. 56.3, okay. Uh, Ty is probably going to read. Yeah, let's do read a or little, something. Maybe little me lesson. and Joe could have a little nose here. And we'll see what happens, eh? All right, get your pens and pencils. Yeah! Here we go. The King Car 40th Anniversary <sighs> Limited Edition Selected Wine Cask Matured Single Malt Whiskey. Mm. Created to celebrate the 40th anniversary of King Car Group, this extraordinary, flavorful, limited edition was aged in an exclusive French wine oak cask. Elegantly combining the creamy richness of toffee with the intense sweetness of dark fruit notes, this special drop expresses the group's persistence, striving, and glorious growth over the past four decades while honoring the soaring snow mountain lying at King Car's heart. Ooh, boom. That was impressive. I, as everyone knows, is more into picture books, and that's why Ty reads the descriptions. This one doesn't pop up or anything. No, and no I just want to show you guys. Not all right? interested. There was no English in that. I read that all yep. in Taiwanese. So not bad. Be impressed. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, also, what's impressive I found is this cork. That's ridiculous. We uh, had some B roll here of it, I'm sure. And uh, let's talk about the flavors. Joe, what are you picking up on the nose? Anything? Do you like it? I love the wine. Mm, Do too. you like it? See, to me, to me, it's got that um, kind of raspy feel that I keep talking about, like a, a scratchy kind of wine that's, to me, pungent. It's quite lovely. What are you thinking, Joe? <sighs> Similar to the Vino Brique, but you got a little something else in there. A little something special mm -hmm. and I'm sure people probably noticed by now but that's not a regular bottle right there that's what we call ginormous oh yeah yeah how big is that it's big and what is it I don't know 1500 milliliters 1500 milliliters there you go some people go with you know uh, 700 <laughs> but not here well there's no, a reason also they here. only made 82 bottles 82 bottles. What bottle is this? Do we this know? This is number 70. Number 70. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shall we? Let's do this. Definitely. All right. Mm. Oh, damn. That's yummy. Strawberry. Strawberry? Um, I could see that. Like wild strawberry. Yeah, like... Um, Still with a bit of whiteness to it. Yeah, you ever see those little tiny wild strawberries? You see them growing on uh, rocky hills and stuff back home, eh? Oh, this is yummy. Yeah, I could get into this. Mm. Are you a fan? And he's quite on the finish, too. Yeah? yeah. I'm a fan. Chew it's it a little bit. A little bit of chewy I'm a spice. I'm fan. Mmm. <laughs> yep. Good thing there's 1,500 milliliters of that. <laughs> yeah. Enough for tonight. I find there's a um, little touch of sourness in there that I really enjoy. Um, it's almost maybe like um, uh, an oaky kind of sour, like maybe some some tannins almost is what I'm kind of kind of picking up. Yep, from the red wine cast yeah. for sure. It's uh, it's quite lovely. 
quite lovely to me. So, Joe, I'm assuming you didn't go out and pick this up on a shelf somewhere. You mm. sniped this from an auction, I'm assuming, eh? No, actually, no? uh... Special order. Special order, Larry Special from Cavalan. Special order, Larry from Cavalan. <laughs> well, sh Well, you can just call up Larry. Yeah, when you just call up Larry, order the finest of Cavalans, <laughs> and then invite the whiskey heathens to come over and taste it with you. You know what? It's truly our pleasure. <laughs> Do we know what wine crash barrel? Your stash! Do we know what wine barrel it was in? Mm. French wine. Yeah, they said French, but they didn't say what. No. Yeah, it's well aged in a red wine cask, yeah. but they don't say which one. I don't know, maybe Bordeaux, maybe Rhone Valley. Cab Sav. Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm, yes, quite. Thumbs and pinkies yes. out. I'm getting <laughs> notes of grape skin. Yeah, that's a winner. I would drink that again and again and again, as long as Joe's pouring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything we need to uh, say? Anything we need to, to clue up? I mean, it came with this lovely glass as well. And it's a, a super cool kind of twisty kind of glass that you've seen on the B-roll footage that we have included in this video. It goes along with some of their twisty bottles yeah. and stuff too. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I like it. I I'm usually, a fan. That's the size of glass I usually drink when you guys don't yep. want to open <laughs> Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can see that. Not these pitiful whiskey heathen Glen yeah. Cairns. Yeah. Pours an eight-ounce strand for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Whiskey's uh, part water, right? Yeah, I'll just take eight fingers. Yeah. What's Basically. that? <laughs> just just yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> there it is, folks. Yeah. Uh, it's a winner in my books. Joe, what about you? You're, uh, you're liking it? Definitely. Yeah. I could go back Beautiful. to this, eh? Yeah. Wow. What about you, Ty? I just feel honored to be in the company of greatness. And I don't just mean the whiskey. I mean Joe. This is so, awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about Joe for a second. I mean, we, we joke around calling him Joe Christ because he's the gatekeeper of unicorn purgatory. Unicorns show up here to die, to get slaughtered mercilessly. Mm. And before, we were here uh, drinking, having a good time. Uh, Park Whiskey Society was here, a couple of those boys. And uh, we had a blast. And me and Steve were like trying to take some pictures. And Joe was just ripping the heads off these unicorns, pouring 13 drams. And we're like, what the f Like, give us a chance for B roll. No time for B roll. <laughs> Look how many unicorns we have to got kill. Time for that. It's Joe roll. <laughs> yeah, Joe roll. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers y'all. Cheers to you, Joe. Joe, thank you so much. Ty, he thanks is. for uh, joining us, of course, as always. Adam. Johnny Camera Guy, thank you so much for uh, your help today as well, and cheers to all the Ethans. That was delicious, and I will come back to that.